The quadcopter that I am holding in my hand right now is the Newbie Drone Vivid Frame with Newbie Drone Infinity Stack and Newbie Drone Smooth Motors. And that is the focus of today's video. These are the motors with the weird magnetic ring instead of the individual magnets. And the question that we're gonna try to answer today is, like, what's the freaking point? What's going on with those motors? Are they really smooth? Or is it just a bunch of marketing BS? And, you know, even if we don't answer that question, we're just gonna tear up some freestyle. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. So if this magnet is electrically and magnetically the same as having 14 discrete magnets, What's the advantage? What is Newbie Drone going for here? We're going to find that out as I actually fly this quad, but I do have some ideas. One idea is that by having a single piece of material, the same density, the same thickness all the way around the bell, it may be a little bit easier to balance the bell. Do you think this is going to be more durable? Because if you look at a typical motor, there's spaces in between the magnets. And the spaces in between the magnets, the only thing reinforcing the bell is this thin aluminum uh, piece of the bell, the outer piece. If you have a solid piece all around the inside, I wonder if that sort of reinforces the cylinders are strong because no single part of the cylinder is going to bend or bow, right? Whereas if you have a cylinder with a gap, it can, it can bend at that location. I wonder if these are going to be stronger. I wonder if they're going to be weaker, though. Because that flex that a typical aluminum bell might have in between the magnets, maybe that's just enough flex to keep it from deforming. And maybe we're going to find that this magnetic material sh shatters or something on a crash. All remains to be seen. So how are we going to test whether these motors live up to their promise? It's harder than you might think because any half decently built motor is going to be pretty smooth like on the very first pack before you start crashing it. The real test of a motor is how smooth it is after you've beat it up a little bit. So that's exactly what I've done. I've been flying this quad for the last couple weeks. I haven't counted the exact number of packs, but I estimate 20, 25 packs and I've been crashing it into trees and crashing it into my driveway and so forth. You know, not on purpose, just because I crash when I fly. Now, obviously, this is not the same kind of abuse that you'd get if you were flying in a concrete bando or a parking garage, but these depth motors are definitely not sort of brand new straight out of the box. And here's what I've done. I went into beta flight and I set the filter sliders all the way over to 2.0. Because if there's an advantage of smooth motors, it should be that you can run less filtering, get better prop wash handling, and not have hot motors or vibes or anything like that. So that's what we're going to... Oh, I also turned on RPM filtering, by the way. So RPM filtering is on, filter sliders at 2.0, and we're going to fly and we're going to see how smooth these motors are. Here we go. Okay, good start. What if we do a little more like aggressive? I don't I'm not going to change the up tilt. Like without more up tilt, it'll be hard to do this stuff with very much precision. Pretty good though. Little shutter there, little bobble. Big pop coming down in a tree. Let's not do that. Some realtors trying to sell this. This is the right of way to this property over here. Some realtors trying to sell it. So they cleared out all the scraggle. Lots of left turns. Let's make a right turn every now and then. Or 
am I going? Where am I going? I have no idea where I'm going here. Okay. That was a good place to go. Those swirling turns like that while descending, that is also a great place to know how the prop wash handling is. No prop wash there. I'm really, I'm really kind of impressed, honestly. I'm really kind of impressed, to tell you the truth. Left turns, always left turns. Do a right turn, Joshua. For once in your life, turn right. I'm like a Zoolander. Okay, for that flight, I wanted you to see what the DJI Air unit looked like, but it, we've got to put a GoPro on this guy, obviously. Number one, because the GoPro is going to do a better job of picking up any vibes or anything. I've got the GoPro set to 60 frames per second, so it'll do a better job of showing that stuff. Number two, the GoPro is going to pick up better audio. And number three, the weight of the GoPro is going to change how the quad flies. And number four, I forgot to set the goggles to record on the Air unit. So I only had the DVR for the first flight, but I didn't want to just throw the commentary out and like fake that I had done it for the first time for the second time. So anyway, here is the second flight with the GoPro. Enjoy. <laughs> Everybody still attached? Everybody still in one piece? Where did I hit? So I'm trying to figure out where I hit that stump. I don't see, like I think it would have maybe been on the right side, on the arm, was it on the motor? I don't see a ding on the motor at all. So I don't think we hit the motor. Like there's no, is it on the nose? It has, maybe it was on one of these 3D printed parts. I don't, yeah, maybe like on this, on this right hand 3D printed part, there might be some, I can't imagine where we hit. Okay, so where does that leave us on the question of these motors? You can judge for yourself whether you feel like these motors are delivering a smooth and like good handling performance. This is Betaflight 4.1, totally stock PIDs. Uh, RPM filtering active and the gyro f and the, and the uh, gyro and Deftrim filters sliders pushed all the way to 2.0. We could go even further by turning off the Determ and the gyro low pass filters, but the risk of, sm of like 
getting a flyaway or smoking a motor it gets a lot higher. And given the prop wash handling we're seeing, I don't even see why we would need to do that. So are these motors smooth? I feel like they're giving great prop wash handling and uh, we'll have to check the high def footage to see if there's any like vibes or jello, but just from what I'm seeing in the goggles, they look pretty freaking good. Joshua from the future will weigh in here if that needs to change. As far as durability goes, that's a tough question because durability can mean two things. Number one, durability means can you bash them for a day of flying and at the end of the day, you're still getting good, usable, happy footage or after you bash them for a little bit, do they just become unusable and then you just gotta replace them? The other thing durability can mean is when they get a catastrophic problem, like you just smash into a rock or a curb, do they bounce back or are they broken? And that is harder to test because like, how do you test that in a controlled way? If you hit any motor hard enough, it's gonna break. So we'll have to leave that question unanswered. But as far as just for general usability and flying around this kind of environment, I'm pretty impressed with these motors. There's links to this stuff down in the video description. Um, I did a whole build series of this quad. You can build this exact same quad if you wanna follow along with the build series, or you can buy it pre-built from Newbie Drone if that's what you prefer. You could also just put the smooth motors on your own build if like the Vivid Frame is not for you. Those are affiliate links, and that's one way you can support me. It sure means a lot to me. You make any purchase after you click those affiliate links, and I get a small commission. You don't have to purchase this exact thing. Buy a, buy a, 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 a tiny, uh, no, ooh, a B-Brain light of all the places to use the generic term tiny whoop, probably a newbie drone video is not a good one to do it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these motors. If you got them, how durable are they? Have you done any bando bashing with these motors? How'd they hold up? I would love to know. That's gonna do it for this video. Happy flying, everybody.